One hundred million years ago, the Big Bend region of Texas was covered in a shallow sea. Over the next 80 million years, the area was in a massive transition. The North American Continental Plate and the Farallon Pacific Basin Plate collided, creating enormous friction. The heat generated by this tectonic shift caused violent volcanic activity. Highly acidic mineral water mixed with corrosive gases deposited during these eruptions and cooled over time, creating many rare minerals such as mercury, gold, silver, copper, zinc, and lead. Cinnabar, the brilliant red ore of mercury, was discovered and first worked in Texas by Indians who probably used it as war paint, and we know that they used it in the paintings that can still be seen on the rocks and bluffs of West Texas. In these paintings, the deep red of cinnabar still shows brightly among the fading colors produced by other pigments. Mercury was used in many products and processes, but the primary demand for mercury was its use in explosives. Because cinnabar is only common in the Big Bend region of Texas and northern Mexico, mines producing mercury began in the early 1890s. One of the earliest owners of land mining mercury was Frederico Villalba a Mexican-born store owner in the area along Terralingua Creek. Eventually, he purchased several tracts of land and became known as a reputable rancher and businessman. One of his partners was William Study, for whom Study Butte was named. The mine was named the Big Bend in Texas Almaden. The Marfa and Mariposa Mining Company was located at what is now Terralingua and both mining companies were purchased by Howard E. Perry in early 1900s. The Chizos Mining Company operated for the next 40 years at Terralingua. Many miners came from Mexico and had many amenities provided to them to include an ice making company, a movie theater, telephone and mail services. The town of Terralingua was spread out over the area with up to 56 structures, including a schoolhouse and Mr. Perry's mansion which was situated on a hill that overlooked the town. The Terralingua Cemetery has been in use since 1902. Many of the persons buried here passed away during an influenza epidemic in 1918. The cemetery is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and is still in use today. A self-guided tour of many of the ruins and important historical sites begins at the Terralingua Trading Company located at the left of the Starlight Theater. Terralingua is host to the annual chili cook-off held each November on the first Saturday of the month. The chili cook-off has been held here since 1967 and is, on, is, and is one of the reasons that Terralingua has come back from a ghost town after 1944 when mining operations ceased due to low demand for mercury and price reductions. <laughs>